What is up, YouTube? My name is Clickwood, and I am back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And today, guys, I know you guys have been waiting for it. I've been waiting to do it. Yeah, we're going to do some friggin' gameplay, son. That's right, we're going to play some games. I am going to hop into my very first head-to-head -head seasons game here on Madden 15 Ultimate Team. As you guys can see, a 0-0 zero zero record. This is my first regular season game. Going to try and make a run at the Super Bowl. I'm not very good at this game, though. <laughs> I, I just I have to be completely honest with you guys. I kind of suck at this game. I really do. I really kind of suck. I'm 83 overall. Going to do my best here. But you guys are going to see I actually do kind of struggle in this game. So first things first, let's hop in and take a look at my opponent's lineup. Because, of course, that is important. Everybody always wants to see that kind of stuff. So I'm going to quick rotate through what he had here on his offensive-defensive lineups. And then we will go ahead and hop into the gameplay footage itself. This is a good game, man. I, I really had, uh, I didn't know exactly how the game was going to go. I kind of had low expectations coming in. Uh, I think I played pretty well, but my opponent gets the ball first here on offense. And I noticed right away with he had, him having Cam Newton, I kind of figured that he was going to try and run. He kind of got me on that first play, first down, and he ran for seven yards. And then later in the drive here on third and one, I nearly made the play there, but didn't quite stop him before he got the first down. So he did get it. Second and eight here, and he ran right up the middle with DeMarco Murray. He had a pretty nice backfield with Cam Newton and DeMarco Murray. That really made it tough for me because I was always worried about both of them running. And that made things really, really tough on me because I really had to pay attention to the run. I couldn't just play the pass. And as you see there, I don't know why my guy didn't jump for it. There was a little bit of lag going on. Probably should have been an interception, but my opponent did kind of get bailed out. As you guys can see here, there's a little bit of lag going on. I didn't edit that out or anything, so you guys can kind of get an idea. But he ran through the entire first quarter, then picked up a first down on the ground uh, on fourth down. But as you can see here, I did make a mistake with the camera, but uh, I did force a fumble there, so that was pretty nice. Set up a third and 20 here, and it looked like he was going to complete it, but we did end up swatting it away to make it fourth and 20. My opponent did punt, and that meant that your boy was taken over on offense, firing it in there to Jordan Cameron, my only elite player on my team right now, and I'm going to utilize him. I'm going to tight end spam the hell out of people because he's my best player on my team at the moment. And I went to him over and over and over again. Right here, we do hit up Victor Cruz for a decent gain. But for the most part, man, it was the Jordan Cameron show. And that's why I don't do that. It's so stupid for me to just continue to throw to the same player over and over again. Eventually, they're going to make a play on it. Von Miller, of all people, ends up covering Jordan Cameron there easily and getting the interception. But my defense stood strong. We get a nice sack there to bring up second and 19. And watch this dropped pick. Throws it up into like triple coverage. Mike Mitchell ends up dropping it. But it's nice because it is third and 19. And then very next play, David Amerson comes up with that pick. He says, gotcha, bitch. And gets the interception. And we are back in business on offense. But there's only two seconds left in the half here. I bomb it up into coverage. I know it's getting intercepted. It is what it is. My second interception of the game. But it really didn't matter. It was pretty much, you know, trying to get a touchdown or nothing there. Back on offense, and we've got Joe McKnight taking the ball out of the backfield. As you guys can see here, I am running this pistol formation. I'm going to hit him with this Cullenberger cheese here, that little screen pass that he taught us how to do. And, uh, you know, we're trying to run kind of the same offense here as far as, like, the look when the play starts. Because the more that you give them the same look like that, the less that they're going to know what you're doing on offense. So even doing stupid things like that and just doing it to the opposite side just helps to keep them a little bit honest. And I do pick up the first down here on third and one, a clutch completion there to my boy Jared Cook. And we're going to continue to try and run the ball. But man, my offensive line is just horrible. They are not picking up any blocks at all. And we're going to continue to try and go short here with our short passing game. Slow and steady wins the race here. There's two minutes left in the game. No points on the board. And we hit him with the counter. Joe McKnight gets into the end zone for the first points of the game within two minutes left. And guys, now I have to clutch up on defense. And damn it, I am doing absolutely horrible. I can't cover anybody here. But thankfully, we do get a sack there. Forces a second and 17. And he's going to bomb it down the field. Mike Mitchell finally steps up and makes a play. Forces third and 17. And he's going to go deep again here. 
and he makes the completion. I missed the tackle with Ed Reed. I'm telling you guys, that was the lag. That was not me being that bad. Okay, I'm not very good. But right here, camera angle malfunction. I'm pressing up and down, pressing up and down, trying to change it, trying my best to change it. And I'm completely out of position. A huge completion there. And he gets 15 on the end of it. Well, not technically 15. But he gets a couple extra yards, half the distance to the, to the goal because of that personal foul. Late hit out of bounds. Second and goal here. And there are 49 seconds left in this game. I know he's going to be passing here. I absolutely know it. I bait him in there. And I say, gotcha, bitch. We get the interception with Lawrence Timmons. 45 seconds left in the game. Here's the replay. Stepping in front of it with that user pick, baby. Getting the interception. And now it's pretty much just a first down to put this game away. Second and 10. Joe McKnight's going to break away here. And we are going to get that first down. That is pretty much going to run out the clock there, guys. As you see, John Fox is very, very unhappy wearing his New York Giants hat. And the military jersey wearing... Rawest of them all, the Clickwood team. We do come up with our very first victory of the season. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I struggled through this game. Hopefully the connection issues get better, but I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you press the like button. Also, let me know, guys. Do you enjoy watching the gameplay footage, or do you want me to do more card reviews? What do you guys think? What are you enjoying? Do you want me to keep mixing it up like I've been doing? Let me know in the comment section. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you guys so much, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.